and welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Tuesday the 8th of November. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, US equities managed to make gains after a slow start last night. Uh, US midterm elections voting today with significant Republican gains expected. And that may be one of the reasons the market's feeling a little happier. A Republican House may limit the spending packages that the Biden government have planned. Inflation data is also in focus and earnings season is coming to an end with 85% reported so far. Fairly positive at this stage with 70% beating expectations. US futures had a slow start but are moving up in Asia. After last night's session, Asian indices are also following that US lead. It's higher in early trading there. ASIC is a little lagging. It's up around about 0.4%, which is still okay, but not quite as favourable as some of the other Asian indices. European equity futures are pointing to a higher open. US dollar index dropped significantly overnight to test support. and Euro is back up to parity, quite surprisingly. Gold popped higher and tests 16.75, which is a key level. It did that yesterday and it's sort of holding there today. And oil is also trading around about $100.00. A barrel on the Brent crude CFD contract. Two monthly highs are being hit. Copper has pulled back from that big move higher yesterday, down to around about 360, but still significantly higher over the last couple of days. And the VIX has moved downwards again towards that 25 support and at six week lows. Bitcoin is holding 20,000. And really, as we've already said, markets are bracing for the inflation. Any fallout from the midterm elections. It is the last week of earnings season, so we're still seeing some companies report. It's a fairly quiet day today. Otherwise, uh, we've got New Zealand inflation expectations are out and European retail sales out later this afternoon. A couple of charts got our interest today. In the FX world, we're looking at the Aussie yen. This is back up to a critical level around about 95 on the daily chart. You can see how many times this has been tested, particularly in the last three weeks. It's proving to be a pretty firm resistance. If we look at action today, you can see there is some buying pressure which has pushed it right back hard against that 95 level. If we do get a break, then possibly a move up to around about 96 looks very much on the cards should we get continued yen weakness. On the ASX, as I said, a slightly higher day. We're going to look at PLS, Pilbara Minerals Limited, and you can see this is pushing back up towards this resistance. This is all-time highs on PLS at 542. Lithium stocks doing well today. This one is looking poised for a potential breakout. Be interesting to see if that actually happens. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.